Oh, good. For once you brutes managed to escort a prisoner to me without too many visible bruises. <laughs> Color me impressed. <sighs> Set him down there. You may unshackle his wrist as well. I doubt some haggard street urchin possesses much of a threat to me, even with his hands unbound. Good. You're dismissed. Both of you. Leave us alone together. <laughs> Did you not hear me? I said, leave us. I trust you don't need reminding of how much I hate to repeat myself. Permit me to sincerely apologize for any rough treatment you may have received at the hands of my underlings. My palace guard is hardly stopped by the brightest and gentlest creatures, I know, but they're quite effective at knocking heads together, so I keep them around. Good help is hard to find, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> well, I suppose I shouldn't ask you. You don't look like the sort of person who's ever had a servant. In any case, let's proceed to the reason why I invited you to my chambers. Who are you, and what brings you to my domain? Your empress asked you a question. If you know what's good for you, you'll answer quickly and truthfully. I am known for many traits, but excessive patience has never been one of them. Who are you? Hmm. Strange name. You're from someplace far, far away from here, aren't you? <laughs> I suspected as much. They tell me you came here stowed away on a whaling ship. They tell me that they found you hiding, huddled inside a filthy crate below decks, sulking in the shadows like a rat. Is that true? <laughs> Are you a rat? Really? Are you quite certain of that? Because you don't look much like a person to me, let alone a man. You look like a frightened little animal, cowering here in front of me. Afraid to so much as meet the eyes of a woman he can sense instinctively is in every possible respect his superior. Did you know it was my idiotic advisors who counseled me to have you hauled from the dungeon for questioning? They were convinced you were a spy in service for our adversaries, as if anyone would be fool enough to entrust such a delicate role to some timid cretin like yourself. Oh. <laughs> don't think I don't see the wetness growing in your eyes. Have my words pricked your pride? Have I hurt your feelings? Perhaps you feel as though I'm being needlessly cruel? That I should be more charitable with you, seeing as you're my guest? <laughs> well, that's precisely the problem, isn't it? You're not my guest. You're a grubby little intruder who snuck his way into my empire quite uninvited, and you'll receive no more than the treatment befitting of such a person. <laughs> Yes, you heard me correctly. My empire. Surely you recognize my face, no? Think hard. Is it familiar? Have you seen this stately visage before? Perhaps rendered not in the flesh, but in stone or white marble or oil paint. One of the statues or tapestries lining the walls of this place. I suppose I can't entirely fault you for not seeing the resemblance sooner. Talented as many artisans under my patronage are, no art in the world could do justice to the real thing. Hmm. I suppose it would be rather impolite, now that you've introduced yourself, for me to not return the courtesy. I am the Empress, Sovereign, and Supreme Ruler of this realm. All that you have seen around you, every regal balustrade and balcony, every lustrous jewel and gem, every common man and mouse, belongs to me. And that includes yourself. <laughs> my, my. 
There's something very amusing about the way you're looking at me. Your eyes burn with fear and confusion. Those emotions I see all the time in my subjects, but they're mixed with something else. <laughs> what is it, I wonder? Some unspoken earnestness? Perhaps an unbiting sense of gratitude that someone as brilliant and beautiful as myself is so much as glanced in your direction, let alone speaking to you. <laughs> that some inconsequential little ragamuffin like you somehow, some way, ended up in the presence of an empress. <laughs> or is it desire? Oh, look at you squirm. <laughs> Does hearing that make you uncomfortable? <laughs> you know how serious your predicament is. You know very well that I could snap my fingers should I have the slightest inclination and have you locked away in some deep, dark little hole for the rest of your days. Still, you just can't help it. Your infatuation with me is written all over your face. <laughs> Don't worry. You've caught me in an unusually generous mood, so I'm inclined to let your impotence slide. That is, if you play your part. <laughs> Get up. Follow me into the foyer. Sit down in that lounge chair. <laughs> yes. Yes, you have my permission. Oh, was that a little wine I heard? Is it really so comfortable? <laughs> Don't answer that. Of course it is. It's plush velvet. Probably the softest thing you'll ever sit on. And I'll bet it's infinitely more comfortable than whatever cold, hard floor you've been accustomed to down in that dungeon. <laughs> Let me take a seat next to you. Oh, is that a problem? I know it's not a very large chair. It was only built for one, after all. <sighs> I'm so close to you, I... I'm practically pressing into you. <laughs> Are you feeling uncomfortable? <laughs> no, that's right. Of course you aren't. Good boy. You know, I was initially planning to bring you up here just for a quick chat to appease my advisors and then throw you back down there. But now, against my better judgment, I'm beginning to think that I'd like to get to know you better. There's just something about your demeanor I can't help but be fond of, even from a poor lost thing like you. Would you like to share a meal with your empress? You look unsure, as though you're wondering if this is all some elaborate trick. <laughs> it's awfully cute, I'll concede that, but no trick, no trap. My offer is genuine. Though, of course, no one's forcing you to accept. It's entirely your choice. If you prefer, I can always just call my men and have them escort you back to that little cell I dragged you out of, and you can dine on whatever maggot-ridden gruel they feed you down there instead. That's what a rat would choose, I suppose, dining on dirty scraps in the dark. But you said you weren't a rat, right? <laughs> mm, that's what I thought. But that's not what you need to say. Yes, what? You say, yes, Empress. And try not to stammer this time. <laughs> oh, good boy. You're a quick learner. You might just have your uses after all. <laughs> Here, you may finish what's on that plate. 
You interrupted me in the middle of my dinner, so there's a fair bit left to eat. Oh no, no. Don't apologize, dear. Though, I do appreciate the impulse. That serval tone suits you. <laughs> no, I'm... I'm glad you interrupted me, truth be told. I was dreadfully bored before. But now, I have a new plaything. And that's always a delight. Oh, <laughs> what's that bashful look? You don't like being called that? Or are you just too shy to admit that you do like it? <laughs> Either way, you do well to get accustomed to the title, because it's simply the truth now. I don't know what backwater you crawled out of, nor do I care, but... You're in my world now, and everyone here is my plaything. But that need not be a bad thing. I treat my pets well, as long as they play their little roles and keep me entertained. You only have cause to be worried if you disobey me. I confess, I do have a bad habit of breaking my toys when they fail to amuse me. Oh, <laughs> But I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I can see I'm putting you off your food. Don't be afraid. There's nothing to fear, as long as you do what I say. <laughs> Go on, take a bite. You'll love it, I promise. It's braised sunfish. The freshest, juiciest catch from the fishmonger's morning harvest. That particular specimen would fetch a pretty penny at the market. <laughs> Come to think of it, it's probably worth a good deal more than any food you've ever eaten. But here you are, enjoying it as my treat. <laughs> there are perks to sharing the company of the Empress. <laughs> Actually, don't use that fork. Put it down. You probably don't even know how to hold it properly. I doubt someone like you has ever taken any classes in etiquette, after all. Here, let me put my arm around you and bring you in close. I'll feed you. Open your mouth. Do I look as though I'm not being serious? Ask me such a question again and I won't be so forgiving. I said, open your mouth. There we are. <laughs> Here comes the first bite. <laughs> you look so adorable eating from my fork. <laughs> Close your mouth, dear, and chew. You'll use good manners when you eat at my table. <laughs> oh, it is tasty, isn't it? <laughs> Better than what you've had for a long while, I know. <laughs> Here, let me feed you another. Open your mouth again. <laughs> oh, it's delightful watching your face while you eat. You're so hungry, I can tell you'd love nothing more than to tear into this sunfish with both hands and scarf it down like a rabid animal. <laughs> but you won't. Because you know you have to be a good boy for me. And that means, while you're sharing my company, you won't behave like an animal. Unless, of course, I decide I want you to. <laughs> mm. Do you like me rubbing your back with my other hand? Here, lean in closer. Wouldn't want to spill anything. Have another bite. Mm. Do you need something to drink? Here. Have some white wine. Have you ever drunk from a crystal goblet before? <laughs> you don't have to answer that. Let me just raise it to your lips and drink as much as you like. It should loosen you up a little bit too. Take care of that trembling in your hands. Oh, don't think I didn't notice that. <laughs> I notice everything. Thirsty, aren't you? Oh, oh, 
careful. Don't let it dribble down your chin. Let me clean you up. Oh, you clumsy boy. You stain your shirt. Well, not like it was in very presentable condition to begin with. Hmm. We'll need to get you something else to wear. And before that, we'll need to have you bathed. No, no, don't fuss. Don't worry. I'll allow you to finish your food first. <sighs> Open your mouth. Here comes another bite. Oh, <laughs> good boy. Oh, I can tell. You're special. You're so eager to please. If only so it'll earn you more fine silks to recline on and tantalizing food to eat. But that's not all you like, is it? You like the attention from me too, don't you? You like it when I rub your back and your hair and I stroke your cheek. Oh, don't bother being shy and looking away. Your face tells me at a glance all I need to know. You need not be embarrassed. You're hardly the only one who yearns for my company. Though, you are one of the rare few to receive the pleasure. I only hope that you can appreciate how lucky you are that I've taken an interest in you. <laughs> Perfect answer. Yes, Empress, indeed. You are a quick learner. <laughs> Until now, I was debating it in my mind, but I think I've made my decision. I'm going to keep you. You're going to be my new project. Do you know what that means? <laughs> of course not. You don't know anything yet. It means... I'm going to fill that empty little head of yours with so many wonderful things. And if you behave and please me, maybe I'll fill your hands with a thing or two as well. It means that I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to have you cleaned up and made proper. And you're going to have to learn to serve me just as I want to be served. Here, don't speak, just have another bite. Actually, you'll eat it from my hand this time. Oh, you look a bit uncertain. Are you reluctant to eat from my fingers? No, of course you're not. There you go. Eat it all. Good. Consider this a microcosm of our future relationship, if you stay in my good graces. I'll hold you close and feed you extravagant treats. And in exchange, you'll be good and loyal and obedient. Does that sound like a fair trade? <laughs> oh, that... <laughs> That didn't sound quite enthusiastic, though. Come on, convince me. You know, if you won't provide me with sufficient cause to be certain of your loyalty, I might just be forced to change my mind about you not being a spy after all, and then... <laughs> oh, relax. <laughs> Calm down. Oh, you should hear that shrill of desperation in your voice. It's absolutely adorable. <laughs> I think I'll have to make you beg more often. <laughs> I'm only playing with you, pet. Don't worry yourself. You're safe with me. Here, have another bite. <laughs> oh, it's grown quite late, hasn't it? After you finish your dinner, we'll retire. Yes. I said we. You didn't think I'd be so cruel cool enough to send you to sleep down in that cell again, did you? 
No, that's no place for my loyal servant. And that's what you are, aren't you? <laughs> yes. Now here, another treat is waiting for you in your empress's hand. <laughs> oh, good boy. Mm, I have so many things in store for you.